Hello, hello, Tatum here. Get ready for the arm quake. This upper body and core burnout will sneak up on you. Grab your dumbbells and let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a 40 minute upper body workout. It's an intense upper body workout and I am so excited to do this one with you. For your equipment today, we're looking at a wide range always because we're gonna have some biceps in here and shoulder work. So I have fives, eights, 15s and 20s. I'm also going to be using a box for some tricep dips today. If you don't have a box, you can use a nice sturdy chair, a countertop that's low enough, anything that you can dip off of. Um, if not, I'm going to have you substitute your kickbacks today into those triceps. So no worries, but I will be using that box. All right, if you have any questions about equipment, always let me know. We need to get warm, warmed up here. Let's go ahead and start with small circles here forward, just tiny, getting the upper body nice and loose here, the joints moving, and then we'll get right into it. All right, here we go. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna make them nice and big now. Actually, let's reverse. Let's re reverse for 10. Let's get moving the other direction, and then we'll go into those medium circles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go a little bit medium here, a little bit bigger. There you go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's reverse it, one, two, three, four. I'm already feeling it, uh-oh. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now nice and big, what I call my uh, fly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's reverse it. Now backstroke, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Keep those arms up. I know you can feel it right here, shoulder height. That's as low as we're going. Don't bring them down to your side. Hold them here. And let's go ahead and step out and clap. So it's a modified jack here, a low jack, but we're not bringing the arms down to rest. They're gonna stay activated here. Let's go five more, five, four, three, whoo, two, <laughs> and one. Oh, shake it out, shake it out. I can feel that already. All right, nice work. Let's go ahead and do some elbow presses. We can do them from the floor or a wall. You wanna find your um, upper arm, okay? The back of your upper arm, set it against the wall, and then just push out through the elbows and back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Two, we'll do a few of these, three, good, four, Five, give a little squeeze there, pause, six, good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, feels good. All right, arms out in front. I want you to open up towards the back, look back, get a good open here, a little rotation to the thoracic spine. Bring it back in, open up wide to the other side. Don't rush it, don't rush it. Woo, who's sore today? Anybody? My goodness, this is gonna be a tough one. I can feel it, it's all upper body for me, so, oh. There we, there we go, there we go, one more, one more. All right, let's walk it out here. This is great for core and shoulder, chest, okay? So we're just gonna walk it all the way out to a plank and then we're gonna walk it all the way back in. I want you to come up to the top, give me a shoulder roll, really shrug. Um, walk it back out to that high plank. Woo! We'll walk it back in. Another shoulder roll, but forward. Really squeeze up towards those ears and back down. Out, a couple more, in. Rotate back, nice, and again. Out, in. Rotate forward, two more, back out, hit that plank, make sure that the hips don't sag. We're gonna do a lot of planking today, okay? A lot of planking. You're gonna do your best to this. Last one, all the way out, and in, bring it forward. All right, we have just a few seconds. I want you to take a big breath in through your nose, and as you do that, fill your belly, and then as you exhale, Draw in, okay? Pull everything in, that belly button in. 
feel that tightness. That's what we want to be practicing through these planks. All right, so one more time into the nose, out through the mouth, draw in. All right, that's it. We're going down to our first plank. Here we go. On your forearms or toes or knees. 10 seconds is all that this plank is. And then we're gonna go into a full plank. All right, nice work. Grab some light weights, five or eight pounds. We're gonna find a kneeling position. We're gonna just pound it out here, okay? Nice and light on this because you wanna turn it over quickly. Just pound, boom, boom, boom. That's it right there. We're gonna switch which leg is up with each round. Three, two, and one. All right, we're back to our plank, 20 seconds this time. So find that, I'll turn to the side here. Make sure your hips are level. If you need to be at your knees today, that's okay. Just make sure those hips are in line with the head and that they're not boxed out, okay? So this is usually what it looks like on the knees. Bring those knees back, get in line. All right, nice work. That's time. Let's bring that right knee up and we're just gonna pound it out here, right here. Good, now tighten up. Think about squeezing those glutes, drawing that belly button in just like we are on our plank so that you're not moving all around, okay? Try to stay sturdy here. We're just pumping our arms. Gonna get the heart rate up a little bit. Move that blood. Three, two, one. All right, back to a plank here. 30 seconds this time. We're going all the way up to a minute. So we'll have 40, 50, and then a minute, all right? Now, some things that I like to do during this time is make sure that I'm pulling my belly button towards my spine, like I showed you earlier with the breathing. I'm squeezing my glutes, that my thighs are turned on, that my toes are pushed in, that my shoulders are over my elbows and not way back here, okay? There you go. Now, three, two, and one. All right, left foot up. Here we go. Pound it out. Squeeze the glutes. That's it. That's it. Punch it out. Punch it out. Woo! Feel the heart rate come up. Just with this little movement here. Feels good. Still using core muscles here. Three, two, and one. 40 seconds. Here we go. We're up. All right. Now, sometimes I find that people sag their head. Make sure that's in line with your spine. Squeeze those glutes, those thighs. Everything is nice and level. If you have to go to your knees, that's okay. We're just practicing, all right? It takes work. We have to practice. We'll have to modify for a while, but eventually you'll get it with practice. With some consistency, make sure those shoulders are over your elbows. Again, I get a lot of pushback here. People think it's easier. It might be easier in your core, because you've taken that out a little bit, but it's not any easier on the shoulders. All right, here we go. Right foot up, let's pound it out. Pound it out, I'm talking five, eight pounds here, nothing more. This is a quick turnover. If it's too heavy, it's gonna be slow, sticky, and you might hurt your elbows, your joints there, trying to move that weight quickly. So quicker that we move weight, the less weight we should have on some of those. Whew. Three, two, and one. All right, 50 seconds. We're gonna end with a plank ladder as well from the top down. So super excited about this workout. We're gonna have uh, quite a bit in here for a short amount of time. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And I'm gonna help bump up the heart rate with a little, a little split squat switch in here. All right, squeeze those glutes, those thighs, push those toes in, shoulders over elbows. Try to get those hips level to the floor. If you feel lower back, check to make sure that you're not sagging because we let the bottom sag. So you do want it up, you know, level with the ground, maybe even slightly piked, but not too much. If we push back here, we take, take some of that core out, becomes a, a shoulder, upper chest workout there. Three, two, and one. Wow, that went fast. Are we sure that I set that timer right? All right, pound to the ground here. I think we're left leg. All right, push it, push it, come on. That's it, punch it out. Whew, there you go. Quickly, quickly, squeeze those glutes, draw in, that's it. Punch, punch, move it. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Back to that plank, this is our last one. One minute of work, you can do this. Just gradually increasing the time. 
that's it. Now think about drawing that belly button in again. Maybe you just kind of relax there. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze your thighs, push the toes in. You want to be as rigid. If I were to come over and push you, you should not move like this, okay? You should be sturdy, strong. Head in line with the spine. That's it. Whew, find your breath. You're gonna be a little shaky, that's okay. You can do this. Breathe. Just modify to your knees, but keep planking if you need to. If you're already at your knees and you need a rest, that's okay. Take five seconds, get back into your plank. That, those little rests that you have to take are okay. They'll diminish the more you practice. All right, last one here. Pound it out for me. Squeeze those glutes. Draw in. That's it, that's it, good. Punch it out, punch it out. I already have a sweat going. <laughs> We've only just begun. All right, that's it, come on. Three, two, and one. All right, one minute's rest just to set up our next uh, group of exercises. 45 seconds each. Okay, let's get set up for this uh, first circuit, our main circuit. Hopefully we feel warmed up and good. If not, take a little bit more time after all that. Let's go ahead, grab your box, okay? If you don't have a box, a chair will work just as well. A nice sturdy chair. Maybe you have a bench there at the house. A stepper will also work. Anything that you can get up, raised up off the ground. We're gonna be doing our dips here. I'll coach you through that movement because it is very hard on the shoulders and the delts. I don't do them a lot and I don't do them with a lot of people. So if you lack some shoulder mobility, maybe it's tough to get your arm right up overhead. Um, this may not be for you. You could do a kickback instead or if you don't have something to elevate with, you can do kickbacks, okay? So just know, stay safe with that. We're gonna start here with a wide row to curl. I'm gonna use 15s. We'll get through the rest of this together. Here we go, three, this is a one minute interval. Here we go. We're gonna go into a wide row. So instead of bringing it in or just right here tucked in, I want you to bring it out wide, elbows wide, okay? Here we go. Then we're gonna stand up and we're gonna give it a bicep curl. Good, back down, wide row, up, Curl, that's it, control that curl. Make sure that your elbows kind of stay tucked in at your side there, okay? There you go, you don't want to move the entire arm. And we want that neutral spine when we bend over. All right, that means we have a, those natural little curl curves in our lumbar, our lower back. We want our upper back to be flat. Good. You got it. Keep working. These intervals change just a little bit based on the exercise we're doing. We have a combination move here, so we're gonna work a minute. Make sure we get as many of these in as we can. Hey, good. Got one more here. Three, two, and one. Good job. We're going into a crush press. If you have, this is a minute long, so be careful. And um, we're gonna put them together. If you have hexagons that are nicer, so you're gonna press these together and push out from the chest. Three, I'm using 20s for reference. Three, two, and one. Push out over that chest. I want you to crush it. So press those dumbbells together as hard as you can and don't let up on that. The entire way we're pushing in and out at the same time. That's it, good, crush it. I mean, who doesn't like this exercise just based on the name? Crush, press. <laughs> we got it. Woo, I mean, it's gonna be a long time. I might need a, to go down to 15 but this is our big chest press today. So we're gonna work it a little bit longer as we move on into some of the shoulder work. Woo! And our triceps will take down the time to 45 seconds. There we go. Push it out. You got it. You can always work my workouts with reps as well. You don't have to work by the time. So even if I have a minute up, just do your best and stop when you're ready. Rest, good job. Put those weights down. We have a rear fly, this is gonna be lighter weight. We're talking fives, eights, okay? Something very light. I'm gonna go with eights today. And I'm gonna go palms, um, like pronated palms facing me, okay? So then out to the side here. Let's see if I can show it this way. Notice how the bend in my elbow stays the same. I don't change it. Let's go from the side. I'll show you all angles, there you go. All right, so 
palms are facing me. All right, or they're facing you there, yours. There you go. That's it, out to the side. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Try not to use your body to get the weight there, okay? Less is more on this one because you want to be using your back muscles. You don't want to be uh, throwing the weight, the body into it or throwing the weight around. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. I'm going to stick with this away. We're going to go into a split drop here into a front arm raise. Yes. There's a little bit of leg here. Jump it up. Back down, front arm raise. If you don't want to do that, go ahead. You can do single arm raises here, alternating, okay? Or just go ahead and do your front arm raises without the split. Up to you. It's going to get the heart rate up. Add a little leg, which I always like to do in an upper body. But that's okay if we're not there. If you really want to take it up, instead of stopping in the middle with that split, you're going to jump it. All right, so right there or together, drop. Good. Together, drop. Holding that split. There you go. You got it. So we went from rear delts to front delts here. So a lot of shoulder. Different areas of the shoulder. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Dips are next. There's your little heart rate burst on these dips. Remember, you can do kickbacks. We need to keep the shoulders back. We don't want to dip this way. So I'm going to turn my hands out slightly. Really stick my chest out. Keep those shoulders back. Start with bent knees. See how that feels. All right. If not, if you need something tougher, step those legs out. All right, 45 seconds of work here. So that's a long time. Just modify, do your best. I also try to keep my shoulders above my elbows. I don't dip them below, okay? It's a small movement. If you have those shoulders back, you're not gonna go very far before you get stuck. So keep them back. Really rotate them out back. Good posture. Think about squeezing the shoulder blades together here. Comes very hard. Eight seconds here. And we're back to the top. I feel like I forgot something, but we didn't. That went fast. Three, two, and one. Rest. Whew. Already shaking, okay? We got this. We're going back to those rear rows, or those little rows, sorry, rows, wide, up to curls. Again, I'm going with 15s today. Here we go. One minute of work. Wide row. Squeeze. Come to stand. Keep those elbows in place. Curl. Good. Wide row. Up, find your curl, a little rotational curl there to get there. That's it, good. Woo, nice work, bend over. Again, always controlling the weight. If we have to use the rest of our body to get there or swing, it's too heavy, all right? That doesn't, start. I know we think the heavier the weight, the stronger we are, but if you're not <laughs> isolating there, you're not really doing that strength, getting the strength that you need. So less is more in terms of control and using our muscles appropriately. Here we go, 10 seconds. Oh, good, woo! Four, three, two, and one. Who felt that? My goodness, crush press. Oh boy, I'm gonna stick with my 20s. It was rough, but I'm gonna try. You do the same, you can always stop, pick up lighter weight and keep going. A minute is a long time. Here we go, three, two, and one. Push those weights together and out. There you go. Press in and out at the same time. That's it, you got it. If you have round, slick weights like me, please be careful. Maybe you just wanna go with a palms press, uh, palms in press, which is out here to the side. Or maybe you just want to go with a regular chest press today. Just be careful. The rubber hexagons are the best. <laughs> there you go. Push out. Push in and out. You can feel this. Keep that tension, that pressing, pushing, crushing the whole way. There you go. Whoo! I know. You got it. Hang in there. 12 seconds. Remember, you don't have to work my full minutes. If you get to that point where you are done, you have those 
sticky reps. You have three to five or three good sticky reps in a row and you're barely making it. That's time to stop. That's good. You've done enough to make a difference. All right, rear fly. Again, palms facing you, okay? All right, here we go. Squeeze out. Make sure the elbows stay the same. What I mean by that is that some people will come out and try to kick it out as well, okay? Just keep that bend, that soft elbow the same the entire way, right here. Got it? Good. Neutral spine again, we're bent over, I know. Draw in with the belly button, tighten up, squeeze those glutes, turn them on. It'll help your lower back and keep that head in line with the spine. It's a small movement, we don't have to go very far. You can first try, if, you, if the range is not there and you feel like it's too short, pick up some lighter weight. And if that range is still not there, we just may need to work that strength there for a while. Or maybe you've hit your max range and that's fine. It's not a big movement. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, front, front arm raises. And remember, on these front arm raises, you do not have to add the legs. We can go right here. You can alternate front arm raises. You can drop, split, and come together. Or you can split, split, okay? Here we go. Drop it down. Front arm raise with control. We're not swinging, okay? Switch up and down with control. Good. That's it. Remember, you can come in and drop down if that's better for you. Control it. Lift and lower. No swinging. It's easy to swing this. So you'll notice I'm pausing on this jump at the bottom. Woo! So I don't swing, because otherwise I could just swing them up and down, okay? Good. Count your reps a little bit here. Make sure you get an even number if you're jumping those legs, okay? Three, two, I gotta do one more. Woo! And rest, okay. That's a good one for the day. Might be my favorite for today. All right, dips are next or kickbacks. On those kickbacks, elbows stay in place. Pull up, keep those elbows stuck, okay? All right, here we go. Shoulders back chest out. Your back should be close to your box or your chair, whatever you're dipping from. Now my legs are straight. That makes it a lot harder. If you need to modify, bring those feet in a little bit. That actually feels a little bit better. I'm gonna go five and five. I'm gonna switch it up back and forth for a minute. Good. Then I might kick it out and try some more. It's been a long time. Again, if you could feel any pain in your front delts there, in your shoulders, I want you to go ahead and stop and get into those kickbacks. This is hard on them if we're not doing them right. If we're tight and rounded and we can't get those shoulders back, not a good thing. All right, rest. Great job. All right, moving on. We're back to the beginning, going with those 15s. This is our last round. This is how quickly this is moving. I tell you, I'm feeling it already. So we're gonna be good today. And I've got a finisher, of course. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wide row. Let's get right into it. Get as many in as you can. And a curl. Good. Wide row to curl. You can call it a T-row if you've ever used a T-bar. Good. Nice work. Remember that neutral spine when we're bent over. So this is rounded. Okay, and I can't get very far that way. This is neutral. Okay, shoulders down and back. You have that little arch in your back still there. Woo! 18 seconds to go, team. You got it. Nice work, I hope. So legs are my favorite. I don't know about you. Comment, let me know. Do you like upper, lower, total, cardio? Just abs, core, cardio. There you go. And rest. But if I can make, if I can keep that heart rate up during my upper body and feel it, I, I do enjoy it. Here we go. Crush press. I'm gonna, gonna try to stick with it. Try to do your best. Push those weights in, up and out. That's it. That's it, crush it. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain words in the fitness um, industry that I <laughs> no that I love crush is one of it crush it love that feels good there we go you got it push 
Push in too, don't forget that. Even when you're coming down, we're pressing in. Yeah, there you go. Press in and out and press it in as you come down. Oh, feel the difference when you're really focused on that. Whew. That's it, come on. Oh yeah, we got it, we got it. We're gonna feel this one in a couple days or tomorrow. I'm a delayed onset muscle soreness kind of gal. It'll be two days. I'll, I'll think I conquered this one tomorrow. And then the next day I'll be like, nope, I feel it. Three, two, and one, weights down. Good job. All right, rear fly, just like that. Oh, I'm gonna be sad to see this one go so quickly today. All right, three, I have a set of eight. Go light on this one. Make sure you have the movement, okay, with control. Here we go. That's it, that's it. Head down in line with the spine. I know I look up at you, but I don't want you here doing this, okay? I know we sometimes do that to keep the shoulder, the back flat. Keep that head in line. That's it, control it each direction. You got it. This is our last one on this one. We're just chipping away on this round. There you go. I almost made it four rounds. If you need four rounds, hey, pause me or just go back, hit the chapter at the beginning of this main circuit and do one more round with me and then jump forward to your finisher. Awesome sauce. Let me know if you do that. Three, two, and one. You just have to be there and also oh, keep your weights or find some lighter weights. We're going in that front arm raise. You just have to have the time, okay, first of all, and also be conditioned and ready for it, but you could totally do that. Three, two, and one. Drop down if you're there or just work on those front arm raises. Nobody has to do legs day. It is not a legs day. I just like to add at least one or two elements of leg in when I can. There we go. Remember, control, pause and control it. Slow movements. Good. About shoulder height on this today. There we go. We got it. We got it. Woo! Couple more if we can. Five seconds. All right, I'm gonna try to get two more in for an even number. Woo! And rest. Great job. Uh, did you see me try to look over there and lose balance? <laughs> Dips. I think I'm gonna go bent knees and back and forth again if I can. Keeping those shoulders back. This is too much, find your kickbacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna walk it in. One, two, three. Keep that back close, okay? If we walk out, if we push way out here, we're gonna strain those shoulders more. I want you focusing on those triceps. Yes, the shoulders are there, be careful. Three, four, five, a little dip. Back out, don't go too far down. It's small, you can feel those triceps. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, nice work. Woo! All right, the box can go away. I'm just gonna sit it over here. Oh, move it off. All right, grab a sip of water. We have our finisher. Oh boy. Arms feel like jello. So a couple things on this. We are doing push-ups. And we're gonna do that plank sequence again, that ladder. We're gonna start from the top of the ladder and work our way down. So 60 seconds, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, all the way down. In between, we're gonna be working a push-up with a jack. So push-up, jack. You can tap instead of jumping, okay? And a push-up. Now, arms are like jello. Some of us are still working on our push-ups. You may wanna to go to an angle at the wall and push off here and forget the jumpy jack, okay? That's fine. You might wanna use your chair that you have there or your box, okay? Here we go. One minute plank, everyone. Find those forearms, hips level to the ground. You can do a kneeling. You may have to at this point. Maybe as we go down and shorten our time, you can find your toes again. That's okay. Everyone's so worried about making sure it's done all the same. Modify and keep working. If you just stop and give up on yourself, you're not gonna get those improvements. You're not gonna progress. 
so it's okay to modify and keep working. Now, sometimes we just, if we're already at our knees, we have to rest. It's okay, rest. Five seconds or so, get back to it. All right, you might rest five seconds here, five seconds there, and another five. And as you practice, you might only have to rest two times there. And then maybe one, and then maybe you're down to three seconds here, and there's just a little break, and then no rest at all, okay? That's how that works. So keep, keep modifying, keep moving. Draw in with that stomach, that belly button. We have five seconds. You got it. Three, two, and one. Here we go, right into it, push-ups. One push-up, jump it out and in. If you're there, it's okay if you're not. You can go kneeling, you can go high with your push-up, you can go all the way down and push, which I think I'm gonna have to do on these arms. So I'm gonna do a ground here, a, a little push-up stop, all the way down. Good, and down. Three, two, and one. Right into our plank, here we go, 50 seconds. This is the way we're moving. I know it's tough. Always try to push us at the end. We're gonna feel our shoulders a lot more here after working. So draw in tight, squeeze your glutes, your thighs. All right, that's it. Woo, push the toes in. This is not easy. It's gonna get easier on these planks, but that means those push-ups are gonna come quicker, which isn't always easy. But let's work here, let's do our best. Use this as a challenge. This is a great one to add to a day of cardio. So maybe you do it before you go out for a walk or a run or even your swim if you want a little strength. Good, that's it. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, here we go. Push-ups, I'm going all the way down because I think I'm gonna plop down to the floor here. And up, jumping in and out. Remember, you can find your incline or your knees in this push-up. We're aiming for, what I'd love to see is about five of these. So if you get five and the timer, we haven't moved on, you can stop there. Three, two, and one. All right, 40 seconds, yes. All right, we can do this. Look at that, 40. This will go quicker. 30, 20, 10, that's it, we're done here. We're gonna stretch out and move on with our day and feel pretty proud about challenging ourselves and getting uncomfortable. All right, if that starts to hurt your lower back, go to your knees. I want you to draw in tight, squeeze those glutes. Take that back out of it. That's it. Whew. It's mostly shoulders here after all that. Hold it. Maybe we should have started high, low, and then gone. <laughs> no. No, we don't want to go low to high here. We want to start hard and work in, into our easier plank. Time. Here we go, push-ups. Remember, I want at least three to five if you can get there and you can stop if I haven't moved us onto the plank. Or you can keep working. Feel how much the core is involved in a push-up. That's why we're practicing. You have to have good core strength to do a full push-up. All right, 30 seconds, let's do it. Come on, team. That's it, draw in. Breathe, find your breath. Squeeze your glutes. Oh, so different, feels so different this time around. You can do it. 12 seconds here. Woo, come on. I know, it's shaking. Handle the shake. Find your zone, find your happy place. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. Push up. Woo. And jack, good. You can just work those push-ups at an incline or from your knees. Forget the jack, it's okay. Good. Woo! Five, three, two, and one. 20 seconds, team, come on. Here we go, get into it. Modify where needed. 2010, we have just two sets of this. Oh, here you go, breathe. Find your breath, but draw in. Three, look at that, two and one. That was quick. Felt good after doing all those long ones. Here we go. We have a couple more sets of push-ups. This one and one more after that 10 second. And we're done for today. Who's shaking? Woo! <laughs> here we go, come on. Oh. Three, two, and one.
time, 10 seconds. Don't let this one go. We can all do this one for 10. Even if you're at your knees, 10 seconds, give it to me. Don't stop till it's over. Three, two, and one. Last set of push-ups. Come on, we got this. Good. Oh, come on. Woo! Very good. Two more. Four. One more. And five. Time. Nice work. All right, good work there. Oh, that's a good sweat for an upper body. Let's grab our towels. We're going to stretch out here. Let that shake go away that we have here, those jello arms. Try to uh, trick the mind into thinking that that wasn't very hard. Typically, if we do a good cool down, <laughs> we kind of forget what that felt like because we get it worked out. All right. Oh, jello arms. Let's go ahead, bring that left arm across the chest. Keep those shoulders down out of your ears. Whew. I don't know about you. I like that. All right, let me know what you think. Pass it along to a friend that might like it. Share, okay? Tell a friend and have them tell a friend. That helps us out here. Don't forget to sub subscribe. And if you wanna know when we're posting, it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturdays, but you can ring, uh, check the bell and you'll get a reminder. That way it'll remind you to work out, right? There you go, other side. Woo, thank you so much for joining me on that one. Did you switch arms? Oh, wow, I think I need a back bend here too. Uh, my abs, my core are really feeling it after that. I don't know about you. So let's go ahead. Oh, first, let's start behind. Ooh, interlace those fingers, we'll get there. Reach up here. Now again, I show this a lot. Some of us are really, really tight. It's okay, it's just the nature of our jobs and our day-to-day -day activities. But you can grab a towel that gives you some space in between if you can't interlace those fingers to pull back here. All right, you can use a band too. Whatever you need to get there, stretch it out. Wow, I'm not gonna bend this over yet. I don't know if, how many of you feel like you're still out of breath, so we'll, we'll stay high here. Feels good, good, good. All right, we're gonna interlace those fingers out in front. Now you can round that back, all right? Think about a cat there. Just round it out as much as you can reach. Let's bring those arms to the left, left ear to left shoulder. Hold it here for a few seconds. Good, over to the right, right ear to right shoulder. Good, we're gonna swoop it up now and I wanna get into that, that back bend just a bit. Really reach high and back. See if you can feel that. And if it feels better, bring those hands into your lower back here and back bend there. Great job. Another bend, let's grab that left wrist. Stand tall, really pull that arm. Elongate through the spine, so get tall. Okay, grow a little for me. And then uh, just swoop down here to the right, let those hips go left. And then as my yoga instructor tells me, pull the lower rib cage up a little bit. I think you wanna pull it towards the ceiling so you stay stacked in the shoulders here and you receive the best stretch here. Don't go too far, you should be able to breathe. Good, come on up to the top, grab that right wrist, wiggle. All right, I'm trying to grow an inch here. There you go, on up, pull that arm. Head left here, hips go right. Now think about pulling that lower rib cage up towards the ceiling just a bit, rotate your back. You'll feel that stretch a little bit more. Find your breath. Most importantly, find your breath here. If not, come out of that stretch so you can breathe. Ooh, good job. Let's come down to the floor to finish here. Let's go into our scorpion. <laughs> Shaky, I didn't even want to come down. My body was like, no, it was resisting. Come back, let me go this way as you can see. Arm out like an airplane wing. Hopefully mine is there. Bring that foot gently behind. Arm up if you want or just down at the floor. Give a little stretch here, hold it and breathe. Good, let's rock back to the center. This time, turn your palm up towards the ceiling and come on up. Good, 
Good, over to the left, same thing. Here we go, up. Man, our timer is about to go, I'm a little sad. Here we go, back to the center, palm up. Find your stretch again, hold. My timer is complete. I'm gonna take you just a few seconds over if you can stay with me. I don't know how many of you are leaving, <laughs> I need to look. But go ahead, let's find child's pose. This will stretch out our lats a little bit too. I want you to stick those fingers way out in front as you shoot your hips back. Find your forehead to the floor. You'll feel the stretch down the side here and it'll feel relaxing. All right, I'll let you get out of here. You can stay there as long as you want. I know we all have a busy day. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you um, liked about this workout or if you liked it at all. Be sure if you did like it, thumbs us up, to send us a comment and then maybe share it with a friend that you think might like it too. All right, get your friends involved. It's accountability for yourself. You can talk about your workouts, it's a lot of fun. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much, bye-bye.